<gasps> is a South African Netflix criminal drama show about the perilous consequences of a web of lies and infidelity. Nandi Malati, an unhappy married woman, travels on a weekend vacation trip to her best friend's house and meets a younger man, Jacob, which leads to an adulterous affair. The weekend, however, ends with the strange death of Nandi's best friend, Brenda, putting her in the heart of a murder inquiry. Nandi's life is a labyrinth of lies, treachery, and ghosts of the past, caught between her husband, Leonard, and the passionate romance with Jacob. As a thriller, the show circles Brenda's murder and builds the truth around it until the end, while several other secrets unearth in Nandi and her family's life. If you're curious to know the truth behind these secrets, here is everything you need to know about the ending of season one of Fatal Seduction. Spoilers ahead. Nandi Malati, a college professor with a 20-year-old marriage, suspects her husband, Chief Justice Leonard, of having an affair with his secretary, Amira. Her best friend, Brenda, advises her to leave her unhealthy marriage and find a new distraction for herself. Consequently, when Nandi crosses paths with Charming and young Jacob, she falls into bed with him. Nevertheless, feeling guilty about cheating on her husband, Nandi cuts her trip short and returns home. However, the next week, the repercussions of Nandi's actions continue to follow her when Jacob turns out to be one of her students for the new semester. Simultaneously, the police find Brenda dead at her house with her wrist slit. Although the cops write the death off as a suicide, Nandi insists Brenda wouldn't kill herself. The news hits Brenda's close ones hard, especially Nandi and her brother-in-law, Vio, who was Brenda's secret lover. Nandi tries to keep her distance from Jacob, but the two can't keep their hands off each other, resulting in a full-fledged affair behind Leonard's back. When Vio learns of this, he discovers a link between Jacob and Benjamin Jibba, a criminal who was sentenced for the murder and of a minister's young daughter, Busey Villacazi. Vio feels Jacob must have had a hand in Brenda's death because she was an eyewitness and played an important role in the case. Nandi also learns that her husband was not cheating on her with Amira and wishes to repair their relationship in order for their marriage to work. Moreover, Vio uncovers Jacob's plot to destroy Leonard, the judge who convicted his father, Jibba, whom he believes to be innocent. As a result, Nandi tries to break up with Jacob, but he refuses to back down, having become obsessed with her. Vio, a former cop turned Pi, starts digging into Jibba's case, believing there to be a connection between it and Brenda's death. Eventually, Jacob tries to get back at Nandi by dating her daughter, Zinl, who's the same age as him. Consequently, after Z disappears for a night with Jacob, Nandi assumes Jacob has kidnapped her and confesses about her affair to her husband. Additionally, Jacob's lineage as Jibba's son complicates the situation for Leonard even further. Although the pair finds their daughter safe and sound the next day, the problems Jacob's presence propose continues to haunt Leonard. Meanwhile, Vio discovers that Leonard visited Brenda the night of her murder and was the last person to see her alive. Nevertheless, before he can confront his brother about it, Leonard suffers from a heart attack that sends him to the hospital. While already distraught about her father, Z learns that Jacob is in love with her mother and only used her to get to Nandi. Things worsen when the cops arrive at the hospital shortly after to arrest Leonard for Brenda's murder. What happened to Brenda? The mystery surrounding Brenda's death serves as the show's major narrative, setting in action numerous other crucial plot lines. Brenda is portrayed by other characters in the program as a tortured party girl who never moved on from her past. Ten years ago, Minister Villacazi's young daughter, Busey, raped and murdered, and the police charged Benjamin Jibba, a local mechanic, with the heinous crime. Brenda offers the eyewitness statement that seals Jibba's case at the court hearing. Afterward, Jibba, an innocent, kills himself in front of his wife and son. Once he realizes even his family believes him to be a monster now. Jibba's death gravely affects Brenda, sending her down a spiral of alcohol and sex, used to numb her conscience. Since Vio loves Brenda, he starts looking into her death after discovering Jacob's parentage. The research leads him to the discovery of a decade-old plot against Benjamin Jibba, which is being led by his own brother Leonard. Jibba's case catapulted Leonard's career and landed him the position of chief justice. Because the minister valued the trial, he bullied Leonard into framing Jibba by threatening his family. 
As a result, Leonard persuaded Brenda, a teacher at Busey's school, to lie on the record in order to assist him in prosecuting Jibba. Although Leonard tried to persuade Brenda that he was certain Jibba was to blame for the girl's death, Brenda was hesitant to fake an eyewitness account. Nonetheless, Leonard persuaded her by exploiting her feelings for him and initiating a relationship with her. Even though Brenda knew she was betraying Nandy by sleeping with her husband, she continued on with the affair and lied on record to please Leonard. Brenda convinced herself that she did the right thing and that Jibba deserved to be behind bars, but her belief wavers after Jibba commits suicide. In order to ensure Brenda's silence, Leonard continues to sleep with her, but breaks things off after nine years. Brenda realizes she has been a pawn in someone else's game and begins to be consumed by guilt. As a result, on the night of her death, she summons Leonard to her home and informs him that she wants to share the truth about Jibba's situation. Leonard, who has made a career out of it, attempts to persuade her out of it and ends up sleeping with her again. Brenda recognizes, however, that she will never fully have Leonard's affection because he loves Nandy. Similarly, she would never be content with Vio since he is not Leonard. Brenda commits suicide as a result of her shame and unhappiness. However, after learning of her years-long affair with Leonard, Vio begins to suspect that his brother murdered Brenda. Similarly, the police discover Leonard's dubious role in Brenda's witness statement and discover his DNA samples at the crime scene. In the end, Vio realizes Brenda truly did kill herself after finding a message from her buried in his voicemail, which essentially serves as her suicide note. Nonetheless, by then, Vio is playing another game of his own and chooses to keep the information a secret for his own benefit. Does Vio frame Nandy? The show begins with a nighttime arrest of Nandy from her home by police officers. However, most episodes take place a few weeks before the catastrophe, and the story does not go into detail until the very end. After Leonard, who is bedridden in the hospital, is arrested for Brenda's murder, Vio devises a scheme to save him. Vio desires to complete all loose ends. As a result, he devises a strategy to save the Malati family, beginning with getting rid of Jacob. Jacob breaches a line he knows he can't cross after dating Nandy's daughter. Even though Jacob is madly in love with Nandy, she would never pursue him again because she believes he is a crazy. Jacob's mother, suffering from selective mutism and dementia caused by her trauma, has also started to forget Jacob more and more. Regardless of his personal life state, Jacob has completed his mission and ruined Leonard's life. As such, when Vio offers him a large sum of money to disappear and promises to bring out the truth about his father into the open, Jacob believes him and leaves town, knowing he has nothing left there anymore. In order to pay Jacob off, Vio starts to drug Leonard by adding sodium chloride to his IV bags. By doing so, he's able to obtain control over his power of attorney and comes into possession of his luxurious assets. Although Vio doesn't plan to harm the Molotus outright, his demeanor towards Leonard and Nandy changes after a loopy Leonard reveals one last secret. Nandy only marries Leonard because she fell pregnant shortly after they started dating. However, a few years after Z's birth, Nandy discovers that Leonard is not Z's biological father. Instead, Z is Vio's daughter, who used to be Nandy's boyfriend before Leonard. However, the couple chooses to keep the information a secret from Vio, making him believe Z is only his niece. When Vio learns about it, he becomes enraged and decides to take revenge on the couple. Therefore, Vio fabricates fake passports for Leonard and Nandy to help Leonard flee the country and takes him to his house to talk to Nandy. Nevertheless, a drugged-out manic Leonard only scares Nandy, who still believes her husband killed her best friend. Z is motivated to action after hearing the commotion downstairs and draws her lethal katana. Z accidentally stabs Leonard in an attempt to pull her father away from her mother. Even if Leonard does not die, he is barely alive. As a result, Z could be charged with attempted murder. As a result, Nandy accepts responsibility for Leonard's damage, which leads to her detention. During her bail hearing, details regarding her affair with Jacob, a student, are revealed, ruining her image. Nandy is convicted of the crime and sentenced to prison at the conclusion of the trial. Vio orchestrates the entire situation in order to win custody of Z and use her to manipulate her parents. 
Z already detests Nandi and Leonard for keeping significant secrets from her about Jacob and Brenda. Therefore, when Nandi tries to tell Z the truth, her daughter refuses to believe her. Finally, Vio and Z get control of Nandi and Leonard's money and estates. He conceals Z's true parentage from her in order to keep her from turning against him, and he tries everything in his power to frame Nandi for Leonard and Brenda's cases. Nonetheless, because his involvement in the same uncovers the Jibba case, Minister Vilakazi, a dangerous man to cross, turns his attention to Vio, guaranteeing the ex-cop a dangerous future in the coming seasons.